Hey everybody, my name is JPW03 and welcome back to another game recap. The Lightning loses one 6-3 against the New York Rangers in a game that I would describe as a playoff energy level game without the defense. It was uh, very loose defensively, honestly on both teams, uh, but the Rangers come up with 6 and we only come up with 3. Thankfully we'll have a quick turnaround time, we'll be right back at it tomorrow against the Islanders. And I'd also like to say I am on a little bit of a vacation right now, hence the weird background, so don't mind that. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and get into the highlights. So it would be the Rangers striking first, and it's going to be Chris Kreider in front of Vasilevsky getting a piece of that shot on the power play. But there's really no shot for Vasi on that first one, so no blame. But this is definitely one Vasi wants back, as Kako Kako beats him right there cleanly. Pretty far out at a pretty bad angle. And then Tyler Mott, who just had one of his best games of the season, I would say, is going to make it 3-0. Again, that's 100% one Vassie wants back, though. I mean, Vassie had a great third period, especially early in the third period, but definitely did not start out the game too hot. However, then the Lightning would get one back, and it's going to be on the power play. Alex Glorn, very similar to the Kreider goal, is going to be getting a piece out of that one in front as Tristurkin has literally no shot at all of stopping that one. And then this one's a pretty funky goal. They officially gave it to Hagel, I believe, but Radish takes the shot and it looked like uh, Hagel had said it was Radish's goal. Either way, I guess the uh, video review deemed that it was Hagel getting the goal. We'll try to take a couple looks at it here. And, you know, maybe you let me know who you think scored this goal. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because the Lightning didn't win. So, uh... You know, well, whatever. This makes it 3-1. It does look at from that angle that Hagel got a piece, though. Now, into the second period, Mott is going to score his second of the game as Sergachev just misses that puck, and he beats Vasilevsky there, and that makes it 4-2. to two. But then, Hagel is going to score again, and this is a weird one. Sorelli with the first crack at it, the second crack, but on the third one, Hagel gets just enough of it to get it to cross over the goal line. I mean, look how close this puck was. It's actually when it rolls on the pad right there. That's when it's actually over the line and in. So just a weird one all the way around. And uh, the Lightning will take it, though, as this one made it a one-goal game once again. However, in the third period, the game would just get out of hand. Vasilevsky made about, I don't know, five, six, seven glorious saves. This one goes off the post and off of Vasi, and Kreider's able to put it in the back of the net after it hits off of Vasilevsky, but nice move by Zavanajad right there, and Kreider's there to finish it. And then this one's just ugly. Late in the third, power play for the Rangers. Panarin, you know, passed the first one, but he's going to get it back, and look how much time the Lightning give him. Nobody closes him down. Chernak actually inadvertently screens Vasilevsky, and that one puts it 6-3, to three, way out of range for the Lightning. Again, quick turnaround. We'll be right back at it again tomorrow. I got nothing else to add. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Win or lose, no matter what, as always, go Bolts.